Housing to Twitter Trust and Safety Council. Don't worry, we are here to ensure that your freedom of speech is upheld and protected. Do you feel that it's at the brink of extinction? Do you feel that your freedom of speech is being threatened? Fear not, friend. We have this council that now has Feminist Frequency and Nita Sarkeesian a part of it, along with a myriad of other assholes who are going to protect you. Do you feel that there's any argument of debaters, detractors, or some kind of critics out there that are saying slanderous things about you? Do you feel that you were bullied? Do you feel that you're being harassed, such as those crazy lunatics going out there and bringing up facts? Who the fuck brings up facts? Just because you say something that's inaccurate and makes no sense doesn't mean that facts should be brought into the equation. That's harassment. That's not going to be allowed. Wait a minute. What other slanderous crazy shit are they going to bring up? Differing opinions. Now we cannot have this anymore. Into the safe space. Yes. Ah, oh, the safe space. It's so beautiful. I can just sit here in my world of ignorance. I know that a block button and a mute button exists, but why not go around and censor every fucking person on social media? Twitter now had some assholes sitting at the top. Their fucking top brass had this fucking great idea. And I guess due to all the corporate shake-ups over at Twitter with people leaving and then being replaced with some kind of fucking brain wizards, thinking, oh, you know what we need? We, we need more people to feel safe. And this is hot off the heels of all these fucking feminazis saying, ah, ah, my freedom of speech is being threatened. Aren't you able to still say all the things that you want to? You know, your freedom to still be able to do that? Is that being taken away? <laughs> no, no, how dare you? Oh, I'm misogynist. Oh, ah, and they just freak the fuck out. So now we got this. Well, I'm leaving Twitter uh, until this is fixed. And then all this shit shows up. And you have fucking Anita Sarkeesian, a woman who is known for not allowing any kind of public comments and will go and mislabel every single person out there that, again, brings up facts and differing opinions. You have them? And, and the shit that they are saying, the vague wording, oh, oh th that could be considered harassment, this could be considered bullying, oh, those are dangerous words. Anything could be fucking labeled as that anything, even positive things, could be misinterpreted and relabeled as that. So just chuck it right right into the fucking sea. I just, cement boots sink to the bottom, never to be seen again. Your freedom of speech on this platform is now actually being threatened by the ones saying that their freedom of speech was being threatened, but it wasn't. They were just saying that they didn't like people saying mean things to them because they were saying stupid fucking things. I feel like I am in a goddamn asylum. I feel like there's a bunch of fucking window lickers that are in charge of everything, and I can't understand why. Rotten head meat, a plenty around me, medication time, these motherfuckers have to be pill happy. To, I just, what the fuck, dude? Twitter. Get your shit together, or this platform is going to fucking sink. Mark my fucking words. The minute that you go around and you decide to censor everything, because other people deem it to be unnecessary, unwanted, unneeded, I don't like it, I'm special, I'm special, you can't say that I'm special. The minute that you decide that you're going to cater to those fucking idiots, is the minute that you start people, you start you start pushing them out the door. They're leaving in droves. You have another platform rising up called old Twitter, like it used to be, but without all of the goddamn bullshit. Wow, that's amazing. Stop doing this shit. St I wish all companies would quit catering to these morons. They are why? I just don't fucking under. I don't. I I do not get it. If anybody came forward to me while I was sitting as the CEO of Twitter and said, well, I, I really don't like when people say mean things to me. Get over it. Yeah, block them. But I don't want to have to do that. You, you can't be bothered with clicking a button. I just don't like that they're saying, they're going to say it anyway. They're going to say it somewhere else. You, this is, we're talking about a woman who went to the fucking United Nations in front of people and recorded no less and told them I want the internet censored because I don't like when people say mean things about me. This is what the fuck she said.
And look at the company that she keeps. <laughs> this is... It, it, it's a fucking madhouse. Or so they claim. Anthrax, I love you. But not, not the time for metal right now. This is not how you solve a problem at all. This is how you create more problems. That's the truth of the matter. You think that you're doing the right thing by initiating this group of people to come forward for them to patrol and to police and to guide and to all that. No, no, no. It should be left to the individuals because everybody is different. Not everybody is going to deem something as harassment, as bullying, as this, as that. And you have, I just, oh my god, why do I even have to fucking explain any of this? It's not like anybody from Twitter's gonna see this video. None of you give a shit about my opinion. I already fucking know that. You care about the opinions of those fucking idiots. You do. And I don't know what. What, what, what the fuck are they giving you? Like, what are they giving you? What did they slip into the fucking drinks? Were you somehow roofied to having a lower IQ? Oh man, drank this double digit IQ right down that avenue. I do not understand. It, I, I cannot fathom a world that you need to go and censor people to uphold freedom of speech. That's where we're at. Freedom of speech is being threatened. We better censor people for freedom of speech. Am I the only one seeing this shit? Share this everywhere, anywhere, I don't care. Just share it around, please say something. I can't be the only fucking person that is seeing this madness. Share this around anywhere that you can. Other people should know. Links in the description so you can see it so that you can just cringe and wince at everything that's made available. You get it around. I actually like Twitter. No fucking joke. I like Twitter, but if it's going to become a bastion and a safe haven for those hyenas, fuck that noise. I'll go elsewhere. I'll go off the fucking grid eventually if I have to. If that's what the fucking internet's gonna be like, not worth it anymore, man. Not worth it. This is kind of shit that if they went forward and they did something, then all of us need to go and say something before everybody is censored. And that's harassment and that's harassment and that's harassment. But you can't shut everybody up. There is hundreds and thousands and millions of people out there who could potentially fucking see if, if this video got like a million views, I'd shit my pants, literally just right there, busting a fucking butt brownie right into the seat of my pants. Look, all I'm saying is, I just want people to know, make videos about this. I don't have to be the only one talking about it. Make videos about this, talk about it, write articles about it, tweet about it, share it on different social media platforms because a lot of people have more than one, not most people don't just have a Facebook and don't just have an Instagram. They have lots of shit. By the way, follow me on all those. <laughs> uh, and cheap plug. Fuck you. It's my channel. I can do what I want. Seriously, say something before it gets worse. This is Alpha Omega Sin. As always, Dirt's Durant's the Gamers Game. The fuck on.